Alright, so here we go again, this time with the Obliterator rather than the full gore. Here's my setup, I decided to opt out of a helmet this time just because I decided that the benefits were a little bit outweighed by the cons. So I'm gonna go in and just try to do this with my spiky hair. Yes! And I know that we're here to talk about the Obliterator, but this is not the hair that I expected this guy to have. This is so... anime. Okay, so I won't lie to you. Uh, this is actually my first time holding the obliterator. I have never seen this thing used before So let's do the first course of action here, and let's scope out that reload. Wow, that's really nice actually Anything with a little bolt on the side of it that just gets me going. I am very happy about that So my decision to go without a hat is just because I realized that the movement speed buff that I was using before is 15% and it negged my health by 25 so that is definitely not, that is not a deal worth using. And the movement speed is honestly almost negligible at that point because the Demolisher already has probably one of the best mobility options in the entire game, a la the rocket jump. That, that guy just demonstrated, he actually might have gone on top of the building. See, like, I can get out of that and into a different situation so easily. Fire rate's pretty nice. I, I honestly wasn't expecting that from something with a bolt on the side of it. I decided to use the obliterator after a Twitter poll that I did uh, yesterday, but uh, the other option was the pigeon launcher, but I think I'm still going to do the pigeon launcher because I kind of want to take it into a more analytical, not really, I wouldn't call these videos analytical, I want to use the pigeon launcher again, let's just be real. And then I have one more idea for an honest attempt. I don't think I'm going to divulge that one. I wonder if you guys can guess it. If you have a guess of what I am going to try, <laughs> then please leave it in the comments section and I will... It, well, actually, no, I won't, I, won't, I won't even tell you if you're correct, but it will be confirmed when the video comes out. How about that? How does that sound? Maybe I can, like... No, I shouldn't even be... I shouldn't even be swapping to a secondary. That's not why we're here. If I'm using that, then that means that I've done something wrong. Honestly, the purpose of some of these videos is just to see if all of the Demolisher's weapons on offer is, are as OP- What? Are you serious? Are as OP as the late game stuff. But it doesn't look like they are. It looks like the 6 Surprise and the Q27 are really the only two things that I would consider to be OP on the Demolisher's side of things. Because so far, what have we used so far? The Pigeon Launcher Plus and the, the Obliterator? So far, the obliterator is good. It's nothing incredible. I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. I wouldn't have purchased it if uh, if my thumb didn't slip. I'll say that. That is that sounds brutal, but it's the truth. He that guy. He put he put six. He put some of the mines from the six surprise on the underneath me in the building inside of the building. That guy is on a whole different level. Oh, missed the sprint button. Classic Evan. Classic. Okay, so here we go again. This time, this time I'm f a little bit more familiar with the obliterator that I've had a, I've got a game underneath my belt, so now maybe we'll have a little bit better results. Though that doesn't make my aim with the rocket jump any better at all. <laughs> Not that I expected it to. Oops. Almost forgot that I, that I, that I, that I, I, I'll save you teammate. This thing does have good range, it's got that going for it. Looks like we have a couple people who aren't who aren't really into the demolisher on the other team. These guys trying to be trendsetters. Oh, there's there's one. Oh, I'm already out of ammo. Oh, that's uh that's bad news. Then I guess I will make an exception. Oh no. No, no exceptions need to be made. No ex no exceptions need to be made. I'm still pretty much against using secondary weapons on this show. Because you know why? This is a this is an analysis. This is analysis on the primary weapon, the obliterator. There's no reason why the Six Surprise should be stealing its thunder today. This is the obliterator's f maybe 10, 12 minutes in the light. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Because once editing's done, you know, like, it kind of halves the video length. Okay, well... I'm gonna go ahead and say this will be my last game with the obliterator, at least for a while. Now I have it, so if people want to see it, they can ask for it, but otherwise, I think I'm gonna stick to the Q27. So far, my tentative rating for the obliterator is five full gores out of a possible nine. But I suppose it wouldn't be a terrible choice if you've got if you've got so many if you've got a few diamonds to spare, but you're not quite up to what it takes to buy the Q27. 
But then you could go ahead and say that you shouldn't even buy this and you should just save up for the Q27 because the Q27 is arguably the best rocket launcher in the game. See? There it is right there. Making an appearance. Always trying to steal thunder. Ain't that right, Q27? Honestly, the Demolishers... Some of the Demolishers' weapons on offer just feel like... Makes it feel like a sniper with just better... Better transportation options. <laughs> the magazine size is probably this weapon's worst quality. That's probably the only thing that's holding this guy back. Oh, what a creative little sniping spot. Too bad it's, uh... Too bad it's not the, the best one. <laughs> Alright, well you heard it here, folks. The final rating for this gun is... Five full gores out of a potential nine. If you're linking, if you're thinking of buying this gun, just save up for the Q27 instead. All right, everybody, have a good one.